Now, uh, we know that uh, the ratio between nitrogen and ammonia is 1 is to 2. So, according to this ratio, 0 0.5 moles of nitrogen will form 1 mole of ammonia. But, so 0 0.5 will form 1 mole of ammonia. But we also know that uh, the ratio between hydrogen and uh, ammonia is 3 is to 2. So, 3 is to 2. So, according to that ratio, we, we, we should have uh, 3 is to 2 will be the same of if we have 3 instead of 5. So, 3 gives me 2 and 5 will give me x. So, x will be equal to 10 over 3. So, that means if we have 5 moles of, hyd of hydrogen, then we, we, then we will have 10, uh, 10 over 3 moles of ammonia. 5 moles of hydrogen will give us 10 over 3 moles of ammonia. Now, now the problem here, we have a problem here and the problem is that using the ratio between nitrogen and ammonia, we are, we are getting 1 mole of ammonia. But using the ratio between hydrogen and ammonia, we have 10 over 3 moles of ammonia. So in both cases, the moles of ammonia is not the same. So which answer will we get? How much, of, how much ammonia will we get? So now, let's see the ratios between nitrogen and hydrogen. So we know that the ratio between nitrogen and hydrogen is 1 is to 3. That means that every mole of, ammonia, of nitrogen reacts with 3 moles of hydrogen. So 0 0.5 moles of nitrogen will react with 1.5 moles of hydrogen. So, but we have 5 moles of hydrogen. So that means that the hydrogen is in excess. And when we say it is in excess, that means that out of these 5 moles, only 1.5 moles will react. And this means that 3.5 moles of hydrogen will remain unreacted. So 3.5 of H2 will be unreacted by the end of the reaction because all the nitrogen will be used up. So hydrogen is called the excess reagent and nitrogen is called the limiting reagent. And the amount of the product we get is always dependent on the amount of the limiting reagent. So since nitrogen is the limiting reagent, we will get one mole of ammonia because the hydrogen will still remain in excess, but all of the nitrogen will react. And since all of the nitrogen is reacting, 0 0.5 moles of nitrogen will give one mole of ammonia. So whenever we see the amount of products that has been formed, we will always see which reagent is the limiting reagent. In this case, nitrogen was the limiting reagent. So we will do all calculations based on nitrogen. So let's move to exercises now because we have done all the tricks and uh, formulas that we needed for mole calculations. So uh, the first question is that in a redox reaction, we will do redox reactions later. So uh, don't worry about that. Right now that, that is not a point of concern. So in a redox reaction, 0 0.83 grams of lithium reacted with water to form 0 0.5 dm cube of aqueous lithium hydroxide. So let's quickly jot down the information we have. We have the mass of lithium, m, the small m of Li, which is 0 0.83 grams. We have the volume of this of LiOH or the solution which is 0 0.50 dm cube. So we have these information and uh, the first part says that calculate the amount in moles of lithium that reacted. So n which is the number of moles of lithium is equal to the given mass upon the relative atomic mass. That is the formula we learned. So in this case, the given mass is 0 0.83 and the atomic mass is 6.9. As I look at the periodic table, the atomic mass of lithium is 6.9. So when I do this calculation, I get 0 0.120 moles correct to three significant figures. Since they have not mentioned the number of decimal places or the number of significant figures that I need to do my calculation still, I will use three significant figures. So 0 0.120 moles correct to three significant figures. However, in the rest of the calculations, I'll be using the exact value. For this, 
I've used 0.1 to 0 moles as the answer, but I will use the exact calculator value of 0.83. Over